What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. As you can probably hear in my voice, I am still sick. I have been sick for about a week now. It's been horrible. Honestly not feeling that well. I've had to miss an entire week of placement. I've tried to make use of that time by taking notes for the USMLE exam, but yeah, my head just isn't really there. I'm like, I'm trying to focus. I'm trying to take all these notes, but it's been difficult. Anyways, so it's Friday now. I've already called in sick to my mental health placement, and I'm just gonna try and make the most of the day by going through the Boards and Beyond's renal lectures. My goodness, renal is a tough, tough, tough topic. Even just the, the physiology is probably more difficult in understanding than the pathology. It's, it's a lot. Check out all of these notes that I made. Got my book looking all colorful. God help me when it comes to memorizing all of these things, especially the histology. I mean, who knows what, who knows how to recognize all the different cells on here? So I haven't talked to the camera. I haven't spoken to you guys in over a week now and I actually missed it which is kind of weird to say out loud, but I miss talking to the camera. Anyways, in potentially even worse news, I have an essay that's due on Monday, which I haven't had time to work on because I've been sick. And so, yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna work on tomorrow. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna lie down for five seconds. All right, let's get this day started. Let's do some work, take some notes, and I'll catch up with you in a bit. I have been taking notes oh gosh I've been taking notes for a little bit I'm not gonna lie it's tough but I'm gonna push through because I can't bear the idea of sitting in bed for another day not doing anything useful or productive so I'm gonna push through and get some work done if it gets really bad I'm gonna have to sleep I'm gonna have to take a nap or something otherwise I'm gonna do my very best and all right back to the time lapse. Let me show you something about my notes. Hi everyone and welcome oh. to our module. How I know that I'm getting tired and not working as efficiently as possible is my notes go from this very small and concise dense handwriting to something like this, which is a lot bigger, takes up a lot more space and is nowhere near as efficient in terms of writing as much as I can down on these paper notes. All right, so this set of lectures that I'm listening to is by a doctor called Jason Ryan. And basically after each one of these videos, I can mark it down here saying that I've watched it. And then I go on to do a video quiz. So I'm gonna do this quiz with you guys and see how much I remember. Also, peep the M&M shorts. Shout out to my mom for those. All right, let's try one of these questions together. So I'm gonna go with acute interstitial nephritis. Boom, awesome. Why am I so yellow? Back to normal. All right, so I'm just gonna continue doing that for a couple of hours, watching through videos, answering questions, feeling a little bit better, which is great. I don't wanna jinx it, touch wood. <laughs> I'm gonna drink water, make some tea. a little bit hungry and my lunch break is still two hours away so i made myself a quick toasty just cheese and then some beef salami as well and a nice big bowl of tangerines mandarins not sure what to call them but yeah gonna munch on those and continue doing questions and videos guys help me help me help me Motivation levels are plummeting very very fast i do not want to study i've got one hour left until lunchtime, maybe go walk around the house for a little bit, go check out my sister's room, get a little bit of change of scenery. <laughs> Ooh, also I didn't show you guys, I put up the picture that was drawn of me in Paris up on my door. In case you get lost in this absolutely massive house, <laughs> you always know where my room is. Also check out the plant. We should give it a name. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to name the plant in the house. The one real plant that I take care of. My sister on the other hand. Nor has got all these plants over here in the bathroom. She's got this plant over here in the kitchen. And then in her room, she's got all these plants here on the shelves. 
She has these vines over here by the windowsill. She's got all kinds of plants. One more right over here. Anyway, solid little procrastination session. I am going to get back to this work. All right, guys, so I've just been doing some more studying and then look who came on the screen. Little, little Maui. Hey, Maui. Maui, how's it going, buddy? <laughs> Definitely the cutest cat. guys great news I've made it to lunchtime and I don't know if you can see but I'm almost done with the renal section of the boards and beyonds videos which is great because it has been a very difficult topic now the bad news is is I am really sick I feel like my situation is just deteriorating throughout the day and it's not really getting much better Thankfully, since my parents were just here, my mom has cooked some fantastic lunch. She has left me some wonderful kusa mahshi, which is like zucchini, I think it's called, stuffed with like rice and minced meat. It's this Arabic dish that tastes really, really good. After lunch, thankfully, I have a doctor's appointment with the GP. I actually booked that appointment to talk about my finger. If you guys remember, I injured this finger over here playing basketball. I think it's been like three months ago now, and I don't know if you'll see it on the camera very well, but this proximal interphalangeal joint, or PIP, is quite swollen in comparison to my other one, and it's been three months. Very, very sad, because I haven't been able to play basketball, I haven't been able to do a lot of physical activity, like going to the gym or anything like that. This finger has really screwed me over in the last couple of months. So anyways, guys, that's about it. I'm just gonna make this lunch, try and relax a little bit, get some rest, and then go to the doctors. Now Dirty Money Season 2 is now live on Netflix and I'm really excited to see that. Also, haven't shown this on the vlog, but this is a very cute helium balloon that Alexia got me for Valentine's Day. It's still floating, which I'm really happy to see. You know what? Too many people have told me to watch this show. Apparently it's taken the world by storm and everyone is finding it really, really entertaining. Might as well see what it's like. All right, let's go see what the hell is wrong with my finger. All bundled up, as you can see, as per my mother's request always telling me to dress warm. I've left my house so few times in this last week. It's actually depressing. It's so nice to see all this greenery, all this bright light, people, cars, noise. Oh my god, I hate being locked up in my room. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. I'm back home. Gosh, my room is messy. Please excuse me. I'm sick. I spoke to the doctor. He's referred me to like a hand specialist so I can get a professional opinion and then hopefully get it scanned. He says it's probably ligament tear or ligament damage, which is what I expected from day one. It'll be good to have a diagnosis so that we can figure out a prognosis and then we can figure out what to do from there. Anyways, not gonna lie, I'm not feeling too good and the thought of sitting back down on this desk and doing some USMLE work is not very appealing right now. Too tired to like take in the information and soak up everything that I'm looking at. I just think honestly my body needs a little bit of a break right now. So I'm gonna take two hour break, gonna play some video games with my sister, and then hopefully after that I will have managed to rest a little bit, a little bit better, and I can actually study for a couple of productive hours later on in the day. I think it's better to do that than to sit here and try and push through this, not actually learn anything, not retain any of the information that I'm looking at, and then just have it be a waste of time in terms of actually learning this content. I don't know if you guys are into video games, I don't know if you've heard of this, but if you play games, this is amazing. So, that was a slightly longer break than anticipated. I'm back at my desk with everything I need for a productive work session. Apples, tangerines, tea. So yeah, I'm gonna work through the last couple of videos for the renal section on the Boards and Beyonds video series. Wow, I'm clearly feeling more awake than I was before. All right, the time is 6.45, so it's still decently early in the night. I can still get a couple hours of work in. So let's just get started. Let us do this, get hyped. Get hyped to do work. Sometimes you gotta be your own cheerleader, you know? When no one else is around, no one else is gonna help you get this work done. Just gotta do it yourself. You gotta hype yourself up, pump yourself up. Kidney stones? Dude, that's my favorite subject. Can't wait to learn about kidney stones. And there's a quiz? Bro, I love questions. Can't wait. <laughs> Almost finished. 
finished all the renal lectures. Just one left, rhabdomyolysis. Yay! Alright guys, all done with the renal section from the first aid USMLE Step 1 book, and now I'm going to move on to do the renal section in the Pathoma book. I'm really happy that I took that break earlier. And sometimes even though you have a lot of work and you feel like you need to push through it and get it done as soon as possible, best to just take a step back, relax for a little bit, and then come back with a fresh mind. And this test just has so much studying to do. It's mad. It's actually crazy how much information there is that you need to know. If you guys have any tips for how you can continue studying or work through sickness when you have work to do at university, please do let me know in a comment down below. I'd appreciate reading that feedback and maybe I can incorporate it into my days as well as I recover from this illness. All right, guys, we are heading towards the later hours of the night. I'm starting to get a little bit tired, not taking in as much information as I would like. I'm going to have a quick dinner and then start doing a bit of research on what the essay that I'm going to do tomorrow is going to require for me. So I have a little bit of a plan before I actually start doing it tomorrow morning. Food time. All right, I'm all done with dinner. I'm now slouched down on my couch, pretty much ready to fall asleep. 10 p.m., but I really want to do that little bit of essay planning because it's going to make my day so much easier tomorrow. So let's go do that. Let's go. guys that is it i have done a bunch of research and i much better understand what it's going to take to write the essay tomorrow i've written out this lovely plan over here which sort of has like a general outline of what i want to do and also some like things that i don't want to forget to write in as well but anyways i think that is going to be it for me thank you for watching this vlog and sticking with me even though i wasn't as energetic as i normally am i wasn't at my maximum productivity nonetheless i hope you enjoyed and if you did please don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel to see more content from me in the future and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace! Alright, alright, let's do this.